on to the light. Take my hand, Tatan Zambi, lead me home. First of all, I wanted to now announce because of the um, revelations. Um, normally today, I wanted to work the whole day on the revelations. I took uh, two days rest after having 10 or 15 people already. Um, I, I hope that the people that came already to the revelation, they received every, all the messages that they need. But now uh, on Friday, yesterday, I received a message because I'm not doing this alone, that um, yeah, the people that I'm working with, that they have no time, et cetera, et cetera. But I will start in, during the week again. So we, everyone will receive his revelations um, because revelations comes after that comes the confirmation. What, what do we have to do? What do you need? Is, this, is, it, is it medicine? Is it prayer? Is it uh, something else? Yeah. And um, there are some people, maybe they want two-time revelations. So we have to talk about this. I used to call also everyone up after receiving revelation, just to have the confirmation if everything was okay or not. So we have to wait until next week. Um, and then we start again. Well, me, I'm very strict. If I say Saturday, it must be Saturday, but then <laughs> if someone comes and tells me something else, I, very, I will be very angry. But after that, I have to come down because I know how it is. So now, <clears throat> Today, um, um, announcement, uh, we are now, this is the 11th, next week it will be 20 something. I think in the next week we should go to our uh, December prayer. Hmm? Uh, next week we should go to our December prayer. That's why this week, 100%, I will give, I will do the best so that the people receive the revelations, as much people as possible, um, so that we can enter into the new year with a new wind. Um, yeah, so next week, uh, we're going to go to our prayer, to our prayer, yes, so everyone that uh, is prepared to pray with me, um, prepare himself a, a, a five to ten minutes prayer that he's going to present here, uh, uh, he can uh, uh, find his own topic um, about uh, the healing of Isolele, uh, maybe about the he wants to pray for the assembly maybe he wants to pray only for um you know the people in america maybe only for the people in africa or the whole world a specific thing he fire prayer water prayer whatever singing worshiping so this is uh, it will help a lot today i'm going to show you something that might be very very important for all of us I'm going to show you now the <clears throat> different kinds of um, cities, valleys, streets of our forefathers uh, in Africa, in the Caribbeans. And for those who are in the diaspora, they will also find out which kinds of tribe they used to come from. And I'm going to show you how to find it and how to search for it. And um, later, I'm going to send you the texts of those things that we're going to go through it today. Um, and then you can also do your own researches. Huh? Get them. Okay. okay. Right. Now, um, always if someone enters into, you know, always if someone enters into a new church, because he said maybe um, he don't like the other, the, the, the old church, and the person enters into a new church, you have to know that this person always starts from the beginning, which means you have learned something and you change the church and there you will always start from the beginning, okay? Because many people think, oh, if I'm going now to a new church from there, I will grow from that what I know already, no? You have to start again from the beginning and learn everything what belongs to the church and then you can choose again after that if you say it's good or not, you will change again. So you will always start from the beginning. This is how also the Mwanda star is. The Mwanda is like this. If something happens you know, or something is wrong, the Mwanda takes you always back. It says, okay, my child, 
maybe you didn't understand this and this and this, and we have to go back for you to understand certain things. Now, today, um, there's, it's not new for some of us, but it's always important because identity theft, many of us, where do I, where does I come from? Where can I find myself in the Bible? You know, you know <clears throat> I, will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will tell you the secret. Um, in Africa, they have um, closed up the internet. Yeah? We have here very good internet connection. But in Africa, they closed up the internet connection and the telephones are very expensive. Why? But because they know if in Africa, they would have the chance to hear all these kinds of things that we teach from the America, from the, 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 the West, uh, you know, even in the Brazil and those areas, if everyone would really understand, if, if everyone would have the, 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 the the, 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 the a good internet and would, could hear all these kinds of that things that we say for low money, I don't believe that our people would have, would be in these conditions today. But we have many people in, in, in Africa, they do not have the chance to hear all these kinds of things that we hear. The um, advantage that people have in Africa is that they know a little bit more about the spirit, but they also um, do not, um, work on it no more because of hunger because they have to you know because of different kinds of problems etc cetera, etc cetera. but we in the west we deny it we deny it we say no it's, it's 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 evil in africa they believe in it but they do not work on it and even if they work on it there is one puzzle that will fail they, 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 they don't have they don't have all this information that we have so you can have the spirit like you want you can be the spiritual master the most I falls on you and you do miracles, whatever, and you will still call Jesus, uh, uh, Jesus, Jesus. You will still uh, believe that uh, you're not a, ch a child of the Bible, that you have nothing to do with the scriptures, et cetera, et cetera, because of lack of knowledge. Okay, that's why we um, have learned so far so many things about spirituality, but sometimes if we fly high, we can also fall. That's why we, 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 we won't fall, but we have to go back and teach one more time identity theft. Who are we in the scriptures? Where can we find ourselves? Okay, today I have two, three countries. Now I, 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 will, I will show it to you. This is the blue letter Bible. Brother Kuzola Konzambi, are you there? Yes. Okay. Now, this is the blue letter bible strong dictionary okay that's why you see the bibles there yeah? you see i'm already in the blue letter uh, library yeah? in my background right? you can see the bible so here um why did i put this site page on it was time for our people you know to grow and to understand um and to see Africa when they went to the southern part of um, <clears throat> South America, Latin, or even in America, or even in the West, we have to look, or even people in the Western Africa, part of Africa, also people in the Eastern Africa, we will even start with the people for the Eastern part of Africa today. They have to start seeing, looking at themselves as the biblical people. Okay, it's very important. Now, if someone say I am someone from the, I, 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 I come from somewhere in Africa, I, my names are written in the Bible, uh, the country where I live in too is written in the Bible, we have to find out where. Okay. That's true. Um, do you know what I found interesting about the book of Yasha? that English translations vote Africa directly inside. And that is the no doubtable proof that they know the Jews are from Africa. Why did the French man try to, in the 16th century, to advocate, they wrote Jasha and say, Joshua is a book that wasn't credible according to the Orthodox Church. 
why the opposite was present. They know the Chasha was a book the kings after Abraham even read that Joseph knew about before Moses even knew about. And the book of Joshua continues the story of Moses. It tells us how an angel is protecting um, Moses in his childhood. When an angel put a fire stone in his mouth instead of the onyx stone of the Egyptian pharaoh why because with a proof with our approval god protected moses after he put the crown from the pharaoh on his head so that with this proof the priest can judge him to be killed what happens then um, mo um his uh, older sister saved him later because he still was trying to kill Moses as a child. And she found a way to bury his basket to the footstep door of the wife of the Pharaoh so that the prophecy can be fulfilled that Moses will be king in Egypt and lead a, the Israelites of Egyptian Thank you out. very much, my brother. Um, this yes. is also, that what you're saying is not, uh, 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 <clears throat> it's not bad, because even in this time where we go, because I had a debate today as well, they asked me, the elder, elder people, how can we make Africa better? And I told them that the Tanzani will find a way to place kings in Africa that will serve him. In ghetto. Now, um, we have Burundi here. Um, Luzulu Kenzambi, can you, can, you, can you read a little bit about Burundi? Who knows where Burundi is? Who knows where Burundi is? Southeast Africa or something like that? East Africa, very good. So I think we should start here. Okay. Can you see everything? <clears throat> yes, I can see. Okay. Read this Bur part Burundi. Here. Uh, Burundi is a landlocked country in East Africa. It borders Rwanda to the north, Tanzania to the east, and the Democratic Republic of Congo to the west. Most of the border with the Democratic Republic of the Congo lies in Lake Tanganyika. The Tanganyika Lake are very important for us in our life, but we will come to that very soon. <clears throat> so capital, Capital is Gitega. Uh, uh, the population is 11.89 million. And the uh, gross domestic product is 3.258 billion. Okay, all good. Now, we have Burundi here. And people will ask themselves, why did Masa put it here? Now, read a little bit. I, now you have to come with a little bit Hebrew here. Okay, okay, Burundi comes from the Hebrew word Barim or uh, Bakarim or Bakarim, a village of young men. Although the name of Burundi exists among the Jews of today, the biblical word we found in this. Uh, the Hutus of Burundi are called Burundis. So, in the, 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 they are Hutus because they are neighbors with Rwanda. Rwanda have Tutsis and Hutus. So Burundi has also some Hutis and they are still called Burundis. Okay, still today. Okay. And the Burundi name also exists still today by who? By the Jews there, by the Jewish people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now look at this. Second Samuel 17 and 18. Second 17, 17, Samuel 17 and 18. 
<clears throat> Doesn't give me anything. Second sum, somewhere like this. Here it is. Second Samuel 17. Here it is. So now Jonathan and Ahima stayed by Enrogel, for they might not be seen to come into the city and went, went and told them, and they went and told King David. Nevertheless, a lad saw them and told Absalom, but went both uh, of them away quickly and came to a man's house in Burundi. That what you see here. This is how the translation to Greek and, you know, and this is how we're going to find out all Africa all his trees, all his valleys, our names inside the scriptures. Are you ready for that? Ready. I have uh, cho chosen some, 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 some towns and some villages and whatever, and uh, we will start with East Africa. So now come with your question, please. Uh, you I, I just recognize that there is Baru, Barim, um, but uh, it, I found it interesting that it's so similar to the word Burundi. So that brings me to the question, how um, did they move when we look on it later on the map? If you read the scriptures, yeah, um, it tells you again, yeah. Now Jonathan, yeah, and Amihas. You can read the complete uh, Second Samuel to have the correct context. For they might not to be seen to come into the city. And went, went, and told them. And they went and told King David. Nevertheless, a lad saw them and told Absalom. But they went both of them away quickly and came into the man's house in Burundi which had a well in his court wider than went down. So, and then he, the woman, so this is a history that happened in Burundi. All this shows you it didn't happen where? In Europe. In the, in the East. Okay, in Northeast. <laughs> okay, thank you. So now let us go, yeah, because we have something to learn here. So we have Burundi here. And what did we see, Burundi city? Uh, one of Burundi city that we see here. Yeah, you can start read. Okay, city Bujumbura comes from the Hebrew word Uzi Bura or Uzi uh, Buzi. The Lord is strong, man of Issachar, Second Chronicles seven two through three. Embura comes from A the man Hebrew word of Issachar. So if someone talks, he's from Issachar. You have here already someone in Isaka that comes from Burundi. This is how we're going to find out our identity. So you can't come from Isaka and come from China. Yeah, Elder, please read. Uh, Hembura comes from the Hebrew word Burai. Uh, Kar uh, Kurai, <laughs> one of David's no heroes. Let us check, let us check. We're going to uh, for Second Samuel 2330, okay? Second Samuel 2330. The good thing about this, uh, this thing here is you, um, about the strong, you, you have everything here, yeah? Um, you have everything here. It shows you, it shows you really um also the definitions of the things that you read because you can even click on this and then it will start giving you the definitions of the the the, the 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 of the meaning of the word in hebrew so let us see if we can if i can show it to you now what was the verse second samuel how much 22 22 30, 30. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah 
So what do we have here? Hmm? It may have been 2330. 23, okay. Uh, that's a lot of work, but this is something that you can do for yourself at home. Benaya the Pirahonit Hidaya of the books of Gash. I guess that's not it. Mm. I think you did say 2 Samuel 26 30. I thought that's what you said. No, it's um, 2 it's Samuel 23 and 30. Yeah, that's this what you Where are we going to find the name? Hurai comes from the Hebrew word burai or bura. Here, barumit. Burai, Benaya, Philos, Hidai, Brooks, Gash. Can't find it. Or Bahumit. The only thing that I found is this one here. Very interesting. But let us see if we can find it in First Chron Chronicles. Well, this is a homework here, dude. Um, Zelek, the Ammonite, Naharai, and the Bahumit. Here it is. Okay. So this is something that we have to know. Cities are also named by our names. Rivers are also named by the elements like sun, moon. Trees are also named or villages are also named by our soldiers or heroes and all those kinds of things. This is how we have named you know, that what we call today Africa in certain reg regions. And that's why if you see who these sons are or whatever, then you have to, to read all this by yourself. It's, you know, here we can see something. Yeah, yeah. can you read that part? Maybe we've, we'll find the answer here already. And he, okay, and he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high, and the Egyptian's hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with the staff and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand and slew him uh, with his own spear. So these now, th exactly. These things did Benaiah, the son of Jeho Jehoiada, and had, the, and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the 30, but attained uh, not to the first three, and David set him over his guard. So this is these are armies from David. Yeah, these are soldiers. Yeah, and from his name, we received in Burundi. Yeah, one of the city is called Bujuma Bujumbura. You can just. Yeah, to, to, to check if this is all the truth that we are talking about here. I understand that uh, this is not easy for some of us. So here, Bujumbura, as you can see. So, yeah, yeah, can you read, please? Oh, wait a second. I have to translate it. It's coming now. Yeah, Bujumbura uh, is the largest city and the administrative and economic center of the East African state of Burundi. There it is. In the scripture, we find it, and we find it in reality, and we find it in Burundi. Okay. Then let us go to Tanzania. I will send it to you. Yeah. We don't want to go too far. We, we just do Tanzania only. And then I will send it to you. You can do your homework and start checking by yourself and seeing how nice the scripture, to how, how, how nice it is to breaking down the scriptures and to show that even when they translated it in the Hebrew, we will find our identity inside today. We will not throw away the Bible, but we will decode the Bible. Okay, yeah, yeah, Elder, go ahead. Tanzania comes from the Hebrew word uh, Jazania, Yazania, or Yazanyahu. 
Uh, and okay. even even this Tanzania, they change it to Tanzania. Azania or Yazania, what you see there, this is how it was called in the ancient time. It's the same thing like Simon Toko have said to this to his enemy, Salem I know, but you Jerusalem, this is new to me. If you go here, I can type here, look at this. I go to Bible Surfer, I hope it's in English, it's, it's in English. I just type Salem, boom. And Melchizedek, the king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was priest of the Most High. So his abode has been established in Salem. His dwelling place is Zion. So where Zion is, this is where Salem is. For Melchizedek, the king of Salem, priest of the Most High, God met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. So Abraham was in Sal uh, uh, meet Melchizedek in Salem. And to him, Abraham appointed a tenth part of everything. He is first by translation on his name, king of the righteousness. And then he is also king of Salem, that is king of peace. Where does Jerusalem come from? Salem. When Salem is already where Zion is. I'm here to talk to you guys. It comes to the enemy because they even throw this in our face in America. You have Salem, Massachusetts, and you have Salem, Oregon. So they know it's Salem and not Jerusalem. You see? Okay. But I tell you, are we going to break this down? I think some, some people's legs will be broken after that. We're going <laughs> to break it down. There's so many of these things. Easy. Step by step we go. Step by step. And everyone will find his identity. Now, let's go to Tanzania. People might think, oh, Tanzania is not from the most high. No. Tanzania is blessed. And how it is. Look at this. Go ahead, reading here. Cities, Haruka, comes from the Hebrew word, Harka, uh, Karsha, uh, who returned from Zerubbabel. You can find it in Ezra chapter, Ezra chapter 2, uh, Nehemiah cool. chapter 7. We can, we can go to Jeremiah 35 and, and, and 3, right? Jeremiah 35 and 3. Let's see what we will find here. Here, here it is, Tanzania. Oh. This is so how I you find Nigeria, Ghana. And you find which tribes they are. And you find which, you, you will find from which tribe, not only Isolele, but from which tribe the Ibo are, the, 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 the Yoruba are, you will go down to the Congo, which village, et cetera, et cetera. So Tanzania was the son of Jeremiah. I took Tanzania, the son of Jeremiah, son of Habizinia, and his brothers and all his sons and the whole house of the Resh Habitus. So they come from the Resh Habitus. I brought them to the house of Tatanzambi into the chamber of the sons of Hanan and the sons of Igdalia, the men of Yah, which was near of the chamber of the officials above the chamber of Masaya, the son of Shalom, and etc., etc., etc. So Tanzania comes is from Jeremiah. This is where the, the name Tanzania used to come from. Now we have uh, in Tanzania, maybe we should see if this Tanzania even exists. There is written Yanzania, not Tanzania. And where does this Tanzania come from? We never heard about Tanzania. Where, where is this? It must be in China. It must be in, in, the, in the Netherlands. Can you read here? Okay, the, uh, the East African country of Tanzania is known for its natural wealth. These include the plains of the Serengeti National Park, 
which is home to the so-called Big Five, uh, elephant, lion, leopard, buffalo, rhinoceros, and safaris are offered, as well as Kilimanjaro National Park, the Africans' highest mountains. Um, off the east are the tropical islands, such as the Arab influence, Zanzibar, and Mafia. Did the people not go to slavery from Zanzibar? Did people from Tanzania not go to slavery according to the scriptures? The people will be scattered four corners to the earth. Did they? Yes, they did. They did. And do yes. you find their rye horns? Do you find their elephants, lion, little parts in Tanzania? Like it is written in the Bible? Yes. Oh my yes. goodness. You know, um, what uh, about uh, East Africa found also interesting is, for example, the Greeks had names from the Indian provinces of Somalia, which means the East African coast to the Indian cultures. There was a connection where uh, Israelites drove with ships between Asia and Africa from okay, the east. My, this is not my topic, but I can show it to you. We can go okay. to the book of Esther 8 and 9. Esther 8 and 9. Elder, can you read? Then were the king's scribes called at that time in the third month. That is the month of uh, on the three and twentieth day thereof, and it was written according to all that um, Mordecai commanded into unto the Jews, and to the lieutenants, and the deputies, and the rulers of the provinces which are from India unto Ethiopia, a hundred twenty and seven provinces, mm -hmm. unto so every hundred twenty and seven provinces from where. Ethiopia. From India Ethiopia. up to Africa, Ethiopia. Yeah. Ethiopia. Okay, hours. Mm -hmm. So now, um, <clears throat> okay, we have Harusha. We read about Tanzania. Let's see if this Harusha even exists. Okay. This is how you can challenge everyone outside there. They say, no, Africa, we didn't come from Africa. And the most of the people comes, the most of the people came from the transatlantic slave trade. Yeah, it's Haruka in Tanzania <clears throat> or Harusha. Where's the name? Do someone knows it who lives in Tanzania here? It's Arusha. A, Arusha. Yeah, with A, Arusha, mm -hmm. like this. So it's, it's like this. I think so. Like this. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. Here we are. You see, this is why I used to say, if you call a cat, uh, 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 <laughs> if you call a lion a cat, you might have no fear. But if you see that it's not a, that, 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 if you see the lion is coming, you 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 will fear. But a cat is a cat, a lion is a lion. These are two different things, you know? And that's why we have to be always very careful with uh, what we say and how we pronounce things and et cetera, et cetera. Ingeta. Arusha is a city of Northeastern Tanzania and the city of the Arusha region. The city is named after Maasai people living in the region. The city had more than 410,000 inhabitants. Can you hear that? It is named, a city is named after people. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Very good. Mm -hmm. Here you can see everything of Arusha. Maybe you want to go there. <clears throat> the people themselves, they do not know who they are. Forget it. But we will know it better now. Let us check who these people are. Elder, can you read? Okay. Uh, comes from the Hebrew word da and Salem, da, draft weapon smaller than a spear. Uh, go to Job 41, uh, 21, and 1 Samuel 17, 6. 
And the biblical dictionary is Salem, land of rest like Jerusalem. Okay, so it talks about uh, someone who resorts with Jerubabel. Hmm? Um, and Dar Salam is also in the scriptures. Everyone knows about Dar Salam who lives in Tanzania. Can someone explain very fast? Dar Salam. Can someone tell me something about Dar Salam? <clears throat> Oh. Okay, Dar es Salaam, important city and trading port on the coast of the Indian Ocean in Tanzania, uh, was once just a fishing village. The village museum creates, uh, recreates the traditional homes of local and other Tanzanian tribes and hosts tribal dances. It belongs to the National Museum, which presents exhibits about the history of Tanzania, including the fossils of human ancestors found by the anthropologist uh, Louis Leakey. So, very good. Very good explain from Wikipedia. And now if we go deeper, we see that Dar es Salaam also comes from the Hebrew word Dar and Salem. You heard already where Salem was. You know, weapons smaller than the spear. Job 41 and 21 1 Samuel 17 and 6, Hebrew Biblical Dictionary, what we are reading for, yeah? Salem, land of the rest like Jerusalem. This is the meaning from Dar es Salam. Salem is the land of the rest like Jerusalem. Found in Job 41, 21. Samuel 17, 6. And Harusha, 2nd Esdras 52, and Nehemiah 7 and 54. Let us check. So let us check. This will be now our time of, is it really so? Then this is a bomb. Let us go into it. Where's the Bible? He is the sons of Balsid, the sons of Mehida, and the sons of Harusha, Harsha. Harusha, Harsha. Israelite sons, I don't know what for what. I think they came, they came with uh, 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 Zerubbabel. They returned with Zerubbabel in the time of, I don't know what time this was. Um, I think this was even before um, Jeruz, uh, before Jeremiah, but you have to read all them, all this. I think this is very old when they returned to, Tan to, to Tanzania. And this is how you're going to know when our people went to slavery, they came back, et cetera, et cetera. And if you put this together, you will know that we are the biblical Israelites. I'm going to copy all this and send it to you now. I have Burundi here. I have Uganda here. I have Tanzania here. I have Kenya. You can go through it. <clears throat> Do we have some questions? Oh, so I, I have one question. Yeah. So then, you know, as we break this all down and we're, and we're showing this, okay, um, what is the what is the connection that we need to focus on that will help those who make the argument against this to see the deception? What, what is it that we need? How do we need to address this? Because you know that, I mean, there's a lot of Africans there that, and the diasporans that will say, oh no, you're just, they, they could have just named it that, you know? So I'm just saying, what, 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 how do we go about showing them this? 
in a way that they will see it clearly. Brother, Noah was preaching out over 500 years to people to come to the, to enter into the boat. Later, he could only save his own family. Gotcha. Okay. So it has to be spirit led. Do, 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 do you really think, yeah, if you tell people everything, but you, you can cry, you can shout, you can do whatever you, you can even do the biggest miracles. There are some people that won't listen. And there are some people you will touch will be always like this. There's some people you will touch and there's some people that will say, I don't care. And they will start even fighting you for that. Hating you. Trying to talk rubbish. Yeah? Well, yeah, But you we have to stay strong. I'm showing you that because after that, we are going deeper into spirituality because before we go deeper, we have to go back. Well, and, and you make a good point why I say that, because I, I know in my teaching, when I did about the apocalypse of Abana, no matter how much Abraham showed his father, he took him to Nimrod anyway. And, yeah, you know, but for us who are relearning this, you know, what's the, what, what's a simple way for us to make these connections since we're not there then that helps us grow to where we can see it in the scriptures as we read? Yeah, uh, uh, um, there is a deep level uh, and there is uh, are some simple things we can look on. For example, in the book of Joshua 74, verse 5, Joshua. we see the name Africa inside the translation. They can't hide some things when you deeply search, even if you can't translate some things to the native language or to the villages or so on. But if you can combine both, uh, they piece can up escape from it. line upon line. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you can't deny certain things. I understand. Hmm? Don't let me. Because that what we lack is our spirituality in the West. They in Africa, they know some, but what they do not know, they do not know the scriptures. They don't even know who they are. Before we um, jump again into to learn more about spirituality, we should again learn a little bit more about ourselves. Maybe then people will say, oh, I come from Judah, but I do not only come from Judah. I come from Judah from there and there and there. And maybe he will say, I come from this tribe. And I was a warrior from there and there and there because it's there. It's it's in the Strongs. So like Malawi, that is the place. That is the Malawi. That is Levi. That's that's the spot where they say Malawi is today. Correct? Oh, brother, you 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 will be surprised. That's not where that's the, they moved it, or is that not where it's supposed they to be? They still carry the name of Levites. Yes, definitely. Okay. Question. Right. Get yeah. yeah, yeah. Question. Yeah. The Hutus of, of Burundi. So you're saying the Hutus are, um, are Issachar? It's written there. You can go to the Strongs. I don't say that the Hutus are Issachar. The, the, you, you will be surprised. Issachar is not only the Hutus, but some of the tribe of Issachar from the, uh, are some of the, the tribe of uh, the Hutus in Burundi. Because uh, in Burundi, normally you don't have Hutus, but there are some Hutus there. They call themselves Burundi. Yeah. And they are Isakar. Okay. Hmm? This is how you go. This is this is how you break down the scriptures. <clears throat> you cannot just say, oh, I am an Israelite, blah, blah, blah. The Israelite didn't fall from heaven into the slave ships and they went to the, the to the West. Forget it. They came from somewhere. Here. Brother, um, <clears throat> our brother gave us this, this, this chapter from the book of Joshua uh, 74. Look at this. And when Baal, Canaan, the son of Ashbor, reigned over Edom, all the children of Moab withdraw their allegiance from Edom. And Anger's king of Africa 
died in those days, and Adstrubal, his son, reigned in his stead. So, you see, we have even to break down the cities. You have to break down, you know, um, the places, you know, the, the towns, the lands. And this is how you're going to receive a better understanding of the Bible. But, you know, we're going there. I'm, I'm going to make different kinds of videos to show it a little bit more. Yeah. And to make it easier to understand for us. Now, Ingeta. Um, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Um, mine is basic. Um, you, the resources that you used were the Blue Letter Bible and the Bible Server and the Strong's Concordance. Are they all found in the Blue Letter? Um, if you use the Strong's, you will always have, um, because the Strong's has some coding. When you use the Strong coding, you will always have the definition of that, what you're searching for. Okay. Yeah. If you see and the things that I will send you, there are some coding, there are some numbers. And if you type it in the strong, in the blue letter Bible, you will have the definition. And then you have also, you will also be able to have the definition in Hebrew. Okay. And you will see the similarities. It's completely the same. And, and the, the Bible server was the blue letter under Bible server, all that no, the under Bible, Bible server, server. I was using it like this because this is the Bible that I use in um, when I want to to teach. I use the Bible server. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Ingeta. <clears throat> next week again. Next week um, we're gonna go to prayers. Huh? Next week we're gonna go to prayers. Two hours prayers. Huh? Prepare for that. Huh? Two complete hours with prayers only no preaching yeah singing yes yeah uh, but singing with prayer yeah so that we can enter very well into the next year without any problem and we left all the things that was bad in this year away and we entered new creatures in the new year ingeta thank you very much for being here Lola queen Tatanzambe mpungu da utu ikama E kwa yeto pasi setunga yo konvani mu Tatanzambe mpungu da utu ikama